Well, it's time for another A-Liner Rally. I got here a day early to scope the campground out for you guys. So we are in the Hagenstone Campground in Guilford County, North Carolina, just south of Greensboro. It's a little county park, I believe. I think. And um, it's cheap <laughs> and it's nice, and we'll show you around. Our campsite is C41. It does have electricity, 50 amp, 30 amp, and 20 amp, and there's a water spigot here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use that or if that's for me and the guy next door because there's one water spigot every two campsites. So I think it's a sharing campsite spigot. We're right next to the playground for the campground. Now this is a big park but this is the playground for the campers. This, you're supposed to only be in here if you're a camper. And we're gonna go into this modern looking bathroom and see what it's like in there. You know I always love to take you to the bathrooms. Kind of a standard looking bathroom. Whoa, got great big showers. Imagine this is the handicap shower. It's got two heads. One head looks like they stole the the handle's off it, so I don't know that it's going to work much. It's cold. <laughs> Is it warm again? It's lukewarm. Tepid. That's hot. This section is called the RV B and C lots because it does have electricity and water. There are different camp loops that are for mostly tents, they have no electricity and stuff. Have a little bitty shelter here in case of rain. You want to come out and play chess or something, I suppose. There's some fluffy puppies and a big class A. <laughs> Hello, puppies. <laughs> the campsites are pretty close together. I don't think there's more than eight to ten feet between the driveways, parking areas. But there's room for a picnic table as you can see several dump stations next to the bathhouses firewood for sale as most people most most campsites now do firewood for sale due to the prohibition on moving firewood and this is the old bathhouse we'll check this one out Pretty nice, it's tile.
pretty big showers. And they apparently work. Not the cleanest. It's pristine showers. A little early in the year to have buggies. A little rustic, but not bad. We'll probably come over to these. Ah, there is hot water to the sink. So hot water for shaving, that's always nice. There's a nice uh, pavilion, an eight-sided pavilion, which we'll be using for meetings and dinners. They do have some horseshoe pits, although they haven't put out the they haven't put out the stakes yet. I don't know where those have gone. They have a central fire pit way down on the end of the the loop with benches and stuff. I don't know if that's where we'll end up or if we've got a I'm really always impressed when there's garbage cans around. map of the area. We are down here in the campgrounds and we have been hiking some of these trails around and they go all over the place and uh, Caesar and I are out for a little hike in the morning. He likes to get out and check for squirrels. Um, we left Dakota home because he wanted to stay with his girlfriend Bonnie and um, he really did show some uh, desire not to come. So he's getting old, so we're out for a walk and um, we'll show you anything we find. This park has a ton of trails, biking, hiking, running, all sorts of trails. So it's pretty nice. We'll bring you along if we see anything interesting. All right. He has sighted a squirrel. It's actually out in the field. He could probably get it. You just have to get moving. <laughs> Throughout North Carolina, you see these buildings all over the place. I mean, it's obviously something from ancient times, <laughs> but they don't ever have any signs to tell you what it was or why it's here or anything. I guess they're just historic structures that they keep. If you know something about those, leave me a comment. <laughs> I love the history of where I am and where I am has been. But uh, 
believe if you know what those buildings are and why they can keep them um, without really any educational plaques or anything like that, leave me a comment. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Here's something we found in the woods here. It says it's the Oak Grove School. And it does have some history stuff. This was done around 1905. Built in the 20s. Here are the teachers from the times. That's kind of cool. I guess it occasionally is open, but right at the moment it is closed. Doors are available if you call Larry, the park manager. Pretty.